Hello everyone to this very special unboxing of Unite Team Q4, or at least one box of it. This box has been very kindly provided to me by Bushroad themselves, specifically Bushroad Europe, and the kind heart that Sasha slash purple shirt guy is. And besides this box, I have this special playmat here as well, which says over here that this is a convention exclusive mat. Now, this is a really big upscale too. This is a lot bigger than a lot of other official Bushroad playmats. And the way to get it is actually to go to a convention, at least here in Europe, things like Japan Expo in Paris that's gonna be in July, or Animagic in Germany that's gonna be in August. I don't know about other regions, but I'm sure you can assume that the big conventions might have something similar, but at least for Europe, I know which ones are for certain. So there's a really nice playmat that has one of each of the VRs for each client together with the characters. So it's a really nice playmat that we'll be using for this box. So let's get right into it. So in case you're not familiar with this set, this is the first set of the reboot of Vanguard. So it does contain support for the four clans you see here, Oracle Think Tank, Royal Paladin, Kagero, and Nova Grappler. I've already had a lot of videos going over the different decks and cards in this set, so if you want to see more of it, just check those out. But today we're just going to be focusing on this one box and seeing what we get. And I know there is a bit of glare on the playmat as we're going to be going over this, but I would like to keep it in its plastic all right, so getting into the box, you're gonna see there's quite a few box toppers that we have in here. So let's just take a look at what exactly we can see. So put the box like this, and also going over some of the general just box layout, you can see this is what it looks like from the front, and on the sides, you have the Q4 logo as well as what's in the set. So in terms of clans, you get 16 packs per box, seven cards per pack. These are the different rarities. So you have Vanguard Rare, which is a new one, as well as, as, well as Special Vanguard Rare. And then there's four Origin Rares and one Imagine Ride Rare, as well as, a, as well as a Secret Rare as well that does not belong to the clans. And then on the back, we do have the nice little designs of the three units that aren't Alfred, really, to represent the clans, as well as some information for the official Vanguard media. So, one of the box stoppers is this little pack of a different imaginary gift marker for every type. So, you get one Force, one Axel, and one Protect. So, these are the three types of clans that we have right now, with both Royal Paladin and Kagero being Force, and then Protect being Oracle Think Tank, and Axel being Nova Grappler, but there will be more as the game progresses, obviously, with more and more clans coming in. So we're gonna put these to the side now, and then as you can see on top of the box, we have these Q4 special packs. You get one of these for every four packs that you purchase, because the box does contain 16, so we do get four of them, and I think um, there's two types out of eight, and you get one marker and one promo card per each, so the design of the pack is actually really nice. It's just like really like slick black design. So we're gonna open it up from the back. And here we have the Royal Paladin one. So you have an Aichi Force Marker that isn't signed unfortunately. And then a Snogle, which is our promo for Royal Paladin. So I'll just set it aside. Getting into the second special pack. Let's see. I wonder if we'll get one of each of the different types. Okay, so now we have the Kagura one, so this is the Kai Force Marker, as well as the Grape Shot Wyvern um, promo. Then let's go over the next one. It's looking like we might not get any doubles, which would be nice. Okay, we have the Misaki one with the Misaki Protect Marker and the Onmyoji promo card. So it would be nice if the last one was Kamui with Axel. That way we do have all four, yep, so we do have all four that we've got. So these are the four types that you get. So it's either going to be one of these four that you get per pack, so one marker that's with a character design as well as one promo for the clan that that marker belongs to. So we'll set these aside as well, and then we can get into the actual box. 16 packs of goodness, we'll see what we actually get. So, once again, big thank you to Bushroad for providing me with the product. Once again, I really do appreciate every single little collaboration that they do, because it's honestly really amazing. So, getting into it, we are going to begin with Kagero with Instigate Griffin. Cup Bowler for Nova Grappler, Petal Fairy, Battle Riser, which is our starter for Novas, as well as one of the new trigger types, which is the front trigger, which is only for Axel Clans, which gives a 10k buff to your entire front row. Then we have Miss Splendor, which is a grade 3 for the Nova Grappler Clan, as well as our first double rare, which is Dragonic Gaius, which does give an extra critical to your grade 3 that it boosts for a certain cost. So 
I'll set aside the rarities. We'll go through the commons and stuff for the first few packs and then speed it up just like usual. So, getting into the second one. I'll take it from side to side just so we don't uh, kind of destroy this pack by accident. But let's keep on going. Here we have the Grade 1 Vanilla for Oracle Think Tank, which has a higher shield power but less attack. Then we have uh, Fright Lock for Kagero, followed by Jiro. Alabrox, the heal for Nova Grappler, and then the Grade 1 Perfect Guard. So, in case you're a bit more tighter on budget, you can pick up these ones, which are still Perfect Guards, but they're really easy to get because they're just rare. And followed by a Funnel Gall. So, you do get two rares per pack or higher. So, we in the first one, we had a double rare and a rare, but normally, when there's nothing else exceptional, it's just gonna be two rares like in that one. So, that hasn't changed too much. So, we have Rocket Hammerman. Followed by Maximum Riser, Sarasa, Death Army Guy, which is also a grade 1 vanilla, but for Axel it's a higher attacking power but no shield power. Then we have a Nike, so Torihime, one of my favorite arts in the set, followed by a Victorious Deer, which is the win condition for Oracle Think Tank, and here you can see the protect marker on the top left. So very nice, definitely a good grade 2 to get. Let me just organize things a little bit. So I personally do play Nova Grappler in the set and I have already, you know, analyzed the set through and through a lot and I'm ready to see what we have coming up next for us as well in the future releases. So quickly going through that, we have our Vortex Dragon followed by Battledore Fighter. So as you can see, not all grade 3s have their markers. So this one has the Axel marker, but this one doesn't have a Force marker. So some grade 3s do come without it but they're still both fairly good, although I think Battledore is actually a really good grade 3 for a rare, especially. Like, they could have easily made him a double rare, and I wouldn't even be surprised, honestly. Moving right along, we have our Jet Riser, which is a really nice grade 1 for Nova Grappler that builds up power. You can call it to an Axel Circle, make it very strong. Iron Killer is also good. Mizuno Hanme is good in the sense that she can make magic numbers behind your Vanguard, especially with Imperial Daughter. We have Burst Riser, in my opinion a very strong card, paired up with Baldur Fighter, that you can use Baldur Fighter skill twice essentially on Burst Riser, so it's very nice. Followed by the VR, which is Dragonic Waterfall. Very nice. So, essentially, you will certainly get one VR of the four types per box, so at least in VBT01. It's not going to be the same for every set, but for this set at least, you do get one VR. So our VR is going to be Dragonic Waterfall, which is the Kagura one, which lets you retire a unit when you do ride it, but it has to be grade 2 or higher, and when it attacks, you can Soul Blast the grade 3 to give him plus 10k power and extra critical, and your opponent cannot guard with Sentinels from hand, so that makes him really, really strong. We actually got the VR before we even got any of the triple rares, which is quite surprising. So just uh, adjusting the lighting there, as I saw, there's quite a bit of glare from the my little lighting setup right now, but you know, hopefully that wasn't too jarring to your eyes. So moving right along, we're going to start speeding things up. I keep putting some rares in the wrong pile, so my bad. So let's speed things up a little bit now. As we're starting to progress through the box, we have a Meme, as well as one of the Draw Trigger Perfect Guards. So now Perfect Guards do come in Draw Trigger variants as well. So it's definitely quite nice as it frees up space in your Grade 1 uh, slots, and you're able to play these instead, which makes Draw Triggers really good right now as well. Moving on. So we're going to go through this pack a bit faster. We have our Heal and a Crit followed by a Striken for Kagero, and our first triple rare, which is Circle Magus for Oracle Think Tank. So, very strong card, lets you filter the deck as well as draw an extra card when you're right on top of her, so very strong card. And the last pack of the left side, we've seen a pretty fair split of foils per the size of the box, so we'll see what we get from this one, see if it throws it off balance or not, but I'm... Not sure what to expect, but we do get the two rares, so for the left side we had three double rares, one VR and one triple, so I guess normally we'll fill up the rest of the foil slots from this right side. Now getting into the next pack, we do, just gonna go through it a bit faster, I see some double rare, it's a grade one, it's Little Sage Marin, which is a really strong grade one right now for Royal Paladin because it lets you build up nice numbers with the 11k boost as well as getting an extra card for one counter blast. So I think that part is very nice. And we have a boomerang thrower which helps you control your resources basically for Nova Grappler, which is you know very important considering how the clan works. Moving right along. Let's see, we should still have quite a few foils coming up for us. There's the other starter for Nova Grappler, which is tap the hyper. 
then we have our other front trigger for, oh, we have both front triggers in one pack. And then we have Farfimagus, followed by Akane. Hi, Dog Breeder. Akane, my favorite card for Royals, actually, in the set. I really love her design, and the skills are really good, too. So she's our other triple rare. At least for Royals, that's the first. Um, well, it is the second foil that we get for Royals, so definitely very nice. I'm a big fan of her artwork, honestly. Looks really, really nice. So uh, here's Lozenge Megas for Oracle Think Tank, followed by Cat Butler. Also very nice. Couple triggers as always. Followed by Pongol, which is our rare. And then Berserk Dragon, which is a really good triple rare for Kagero. And this puts us at... Well, we haven't had a triple or VR for Nova Grappler, but definitely very nice to have this Berserk Dragon. A very strong card. I've talked about it a lot before. It's still really good because it both retires and gets you cards in hand, so it's super strong and I understand why, you know, it's a triple rare because it's really, really fearsome. So these kind of serve the same role in their respective decks, so it's nice to see that we can pull both of them. Moving right along, we're going to go through this pack a bit faster once again. We are seeing some doubles and I'm seeing an SVR Dragonic Waterfall. Wow, I have not seen, like, I was really wondering what SVRs look like in person, and this is beautiful. Wow. Personally, I would have liked this to be a perfect riser, but I am not complaining for sure. Dragonic Waterfall in both varieties. This is, I'm shaking a little bit, because this is really amazing. Wow. So, does say, Dragon's Wheel, the power to cleanse. That is very impressive. Okay, I am loving that. Wow. Okay. But definitely not complaining. So, as you can see, SVRs, they don't take up... They haven't taken up any of our other slots so far. We'll see if it replaces a double, but normally it should replace a rare in the pack. Although we did get two rares in that pack, if I'm not mistaken, I think. But, wow, that was... That was not expected, honestly. Like, damn. Like, that's arguably one of the best... SVRs you can pull to. I think it looks really good as well. You can see it kind of loses the background normally of the card and it's replaced by a solid color, but the gold plating on it looks so nice as well, so definitely very, very nice. So we do have our other double rare, which is the perfect guard draw trigger for Oracle Think Tank, so that's our second one in this box. We had one for Nova's as well. And then we're left with three packs, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what else we can still pull from this box. But honestly, it's been a very solid box so far, and I am not complaining. So let's keep on going. We have our two rares. One of them will be Burst Riser. Very nice. I think we might still have a double rare left over, if I'm not mistaken, which would be nice to see. Uh, I'm not sure if, I, if there's anything I personally want. Maybe something for Kagero or Royals, but it's going to be Royals as we're going to get a Conjurer of Mithril. So, very nice. Pretty good grade 2 as it can tech out any grade 2 from your deck, making it more aggressive in the early game. But you do lose a Candleblast and a Soul, so you have to be careful with the way that you control your resources. But let's go over the last pack, which we'll see if it has anything nice, but I'm not too hopeful as this box has been really generous to us so far. So... Let's see if we get anything else. We have our front trigger, our perfect guard draw trigger, and a rope. Yeah, so nothing else, but nothing to complain about because this has been our super solid box so far. So let's go over the foils really quick. So we have Conjurer of Mithril, Miss Mist, Marin, Twin Blader, Victorious Deer, as well as Dragonic Gaia. So very, very nice. As for the triple rares, three of them are really, really good. So, Sergomagus, amazing for Oracle Think Tank, definitely a 4 of in that clan, followed by Berserk Dragon and Akane, which are also 4 of in their respective clans, so definitely very nice pulls on both regards. And then we have our certified VR, this time being Dragonic Waterfall, as well as its SVR version, which did replace one of the rares, so that's a very nice thing to see, that it doesn't take up any of your other foil slots, so... Super nice and really cool to see this amazing looking Dragonic Waterfall. So, 
that is going to be it for this video. Don't forget that this set is now on sale, so you can pick it up yourselves. It's a really good set with every clan being very strong and viable, so I think it's definitely worth investing too, and it's your way to start Standard as well, which I think is a it's honestly really fun. I've played a lot of games of Standard already, and it's honestly a very good time. Don't forget that this playmat is convention exclusive, so if you want to get one yourself, make sure to go to a convention like Japan Expo or Animagic here in Europe, as well as I'm sure there's some other ones you can go to in outside of Europe as well. But that's gonna be for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, very, very big thank you to Bushroot for sending me this box. I always really appreciate these little partnerships that we have. So it's honestly really just baffling that I have this opportunity at all. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity as I'm eternally thankful. So that's gonna be for me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.